up. And here's a quick check on tonight's top local headlines. Batlow's apple growers have lost millions of dollars due to an unseasonable heat wave. It's not just the apple growers, but berry growers as well. Police have seized 29 fully grown cannabis plants in a raid near Gundagai. A man has been arrested and charged. And Wagga's mayor has used his casting vote to approve a land deal that will expand the Equix Centre. And our region's rep softballers have gone off to a better start than they expected at the state championships today. Thank you for your company. Up next, it's Prime 7 News at 6.30 with Dan Gibson. And we'll be back with news and weather for you throughout the evening. You can also join the conversation online at prime7.com.au and also on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Tonight, three hurt and dozens evacuated as scaffolding caves in on a multi-storey building. Is Qantas planning more job cuts? There are fears thousands will be sacked. A confronting situation at court for accused former TV star Robert Hughes. And Watson will return with uh, Doolan or Marsh. Who will miss the third test? All that more coming up tonight for you. Once again, also tonight, an amazing video clue in a gangland killing. That's also on the way, though. First tonight, two construction workers are in hospital and a bystander is suffering shock after 12 storeys of scaffolding collapsed on a mascot building site this afternoon. It was lunchtime and the men were at the top of the steel frame when it suddenly gave way. It was amazing no one was killed outright as tons of steel peeled away from the side of the 12-storey building. At least two workers were on it at the time, actually riding the structure from the top all the way to the ground. I was just see the noise, like bang, 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 and all of a sudden, like, whack. Mate, someone should be thanking their stars. Police for engaging in the pursuit despite his refusal to stop. My uncle had his leg cut off amputated last night um, he's not doing very well he's really really depressed he has said that he doesn't want to live no more the coalition's worst result in almost four years labor ahead 54 46 but behind the eight ball as it supported a government bill saying sorry to those defamed by That's craig thompson your... in his Mark riley seven news New South Wales police have shown off a new mobile drug detection laser that will see suspects face court sooner. The machine scans drug samples, then uses a built-in library of illicit drugs to find a match within seconds. Once that analysis is made and that drug is determined, that is a reliable indicator of that drug and it can be used in court. Bully Zero Foundation will hold a 48-hour digital detox next month. More details are on our website. Karen O'Sullivan, 7 News. To finance now on the Australian stock market closed lower today, ending seven straight days of gains. The All Ordinaries is down six points. The ASX 200 also down six points or around 12%. Mostly downward moves today on the stock market. AMP and BHP both fell slightly. Top stocks to watch tonight include Ramsey Healthcare and ANZ. And one Aussie dollar buys 90 US cents. Will Hopawati on a mission to play for the Blues. That's on the way next. And which Socceroo has signed to wear a new Premier League jersey? coast so we are expecting to see rain and thunderstorm activity thunderstorms in places like Canberra as well Goldman's in for rain and thunderstorm activity too with a top of 30. Dan? Good on you Maddie. thank you for that we'll catch you again tomorrow before we go a quick look again at some of tonight's top stories two construction workers are in hospital and a bystander is suffering shock after 12 stories of scaffolding collapsed on a mascot building site this afternoon and Qantas workers fear for their future. The airline tipped to acts as many as 5,000 jobs. Well, we'll see you again tomorrow for the Prime 7 News Hour from 6 o'clock. Thanks so much for your company. Till then, bye for now.